Hey guys, on the story, Sass, 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 and welcome to another episode of Cigar Reviews. Right before my dinner time, doing a really nice prime rib upstairs. Um, but it will take six hours, and right now it's only about five. So, what better to do than a cigar review, right? We're doing the um, Boulevard Confradia Robusto Oscuro. And this is the, yeah. This is one of the cigars I got um, a while back when I was making a Cigars Daily Order. And I just add one of these in there. I want to, you know, kind of smoke some U.S. fake Cuban <laughs> cigars uh, before uh, my dinner time. So let's take a look at the cigar. Okay, here we go. Bolivar Confradia Oscuro Robusto 5x54. MSRP is $5.99. A box of $25 comes to $149.75. This is definitely the US version. This is not the Cuban cigar, it's the US general cigar brand. It's the extension for cigar company, believe a line. It's definitely not the Cuban one. It uses Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, Ecuadorian Sumatra binder, and Dominican Nicaraguan and Honduran filler. Very, very oily dark cigar and let's get started all right as you can see it is a very oily very raw very bumpy very like eh, like looks like some specific thing but very tiny cigar all right and hopefully this doesn't get me sick right before dinner but i'm gonna try my best it has a little bit of stink to it like fermented lack like a better term it's like a dirty underwear or something like that i don't know it just stinks a little bit after all cigar is meant to be smoked not to smelt so should be okay either way all right full draw Okay. Sweet, spicy, like candied. Chocolate with a little bit of mushroominess. Wow. It's kind of scary. Yeah. What? All right. But the other day I was uh, doing a recording for Opus X. When I tried to close this cab, I put my finger right between the fire. Hopefully this time I won't do that. Pepper, mineral water, coffee. Dark bitter coffee.
Got a little bit of barnyard, a little bit of leathery with that chili pepper. Ooh, burns. A little damp leafiness. There is a little bit of nuttiness at the end of that coffee. More like espresso, but like coffee. All right, so smoke one third. Be right back. Okay, so we're at a one third point ish because it's burned a little bit slanted, just a little bit. So it's leathery, it's earthy, but it's got an innate sweetness to it. It's also got that coffee note, uh, a little bit nutty note, maybe some nutmeg. Just the smell of it, it's almost like a toast, burn, dark roasted coffee of some sort. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's got a little bit of um like the smell of like molasses, but it's not sweet like molasses. And it's got some mixed spice in there. That's what I got first though. So far, not bad. I mean, uh, in comparison to some of the Cuban Boulevard, this is actually more interesting. But not necessarily the better interesting, just more interesting. All right? So yeah, first third, we're done. Let's go to second third. Tap the ash off. All right, we're back. Uh, second third. It tastes still earthy, still leathery, still like coffee. But this also that... I don't know if you ever tried those molasses soda. That tastes really, really bad. And remove the sugar. So all you taste is that soda re watered down molasses. I get a little bit of that. It's almost close to one of those root beer. Not not root beer. Uh Suspera, but it's not done right. It's not the the regular. There's two kinds of Suspera flavors it's one of those kind but it's not that kind it's not what i'm thinking kind i, I don't know how to describe it that's what i got um the sh sweetness did die down and there's some woodsiness to it it it's got a lot of different flavor in there but they it's just it doesn't have that flavor to make it shine above and beyond right it's just like okay got a flavor got that flavor got a flavor got a flavor and all of those are like b cast your a cast is not in here didn't arrive never showed up b cast so although it's an interesting cigar and i think a lot of people will enjoy it for six six dollars msrp um a lot of people will enjoy this and especially if you're a beginner sm smoker and if you like those earthy down the rudy tones and stuff like that you might like it for me, it's lacking something. It's missing something. And here we go. We have the pseudo, almost like Cuban, but not Cuban cigar band. All right. This is what we got. This is what we got. And pretty nasty blue stain. I don't like those. Anyways, last turn. I'm going to finish up. Finish this review. So I can go have my prime rib upstairs. Got to be done. Be right back. And we're done here. Finally, it's time for me to enjoy my stay soon anyway uh the cigar it gets more earthy and bitter and darker not okay darker espresso but not sour it's more like towards a bitter end um kind of flavor it has a smooth floral smell to it on the retro hill so it's kind of like bitter and nice smell at the same time it's it's kind of weird um, it kind of reminds me of Gurkha Cigar, but smells a little bit better. That's what I got. So, with that being said, this cigar, $6. $6. $6 it is. I can see some people who enjoy Gurkha Cigar and an and, and earthy cigar and, uh, you know, really dark tone cigar people to like this particular Esquero. But I can see um, people who enjoy 
the sweetness of Honduras and broadleaf, that kind of thing, to enjoy this particular one. It's not a typical combo. It doesn't taste like what I imagine will happen, should happen. Um, most likely it's using a really low gray, uh, dark earthy, not very fermented tobacco or something, something like that. I can't, I, I just like, we got these, doesn't taste that good. Let's put it all together in here. Yeah, something like, something like that. And let's put the brand on it so people buy it. And then, but then they knew they couldn't sell it for very high, so six bucks. Okay, that's what I got. That's what I got. Okay, so um, I can't really recommend it, but I can re uh, like you know newbies who who still try to find out what they like could try it, and, and I think that will help you to determine whether or not you even like that earthiness, you even like uh, like bitter espresso, that kind of stuff. Okay. So with that being said, that is it for the cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out swag, check out our podcast, and check out membership. And that'll be it. I'm going to go enjoy my steak now. And I will see you guys next one. Bye, guys.